What's going on everybody? It's your boy Warmerster back again in today's episode of Mod Review. So in today's episode of Mod Review, we're going to review this mod from Munchstein Bebop. It's called the World Conqueror 4, the Frontline Expanded. So this mod was sent to me on uh, the 7th of August, a few days ago, but I was uh, making the Russian uh, conquest, so I did not have time to uh, upload this one. But finally, we have this mod. So yeah, it was released uh, five days ago. So this mod has a lot of new stuff that we should look at. So first, after a long time, uh, TFE from Hispanic is back and remastered. So we got a new background music using historical and movie music, mostly Godzilla. Added World War One units. Added companion cavalry. Medieval Europe is in twisted time. Have new infantry, new countries such as the Knights of Saint and John and Central. American nations, new bigger map has the Volga River. Islands are larger as well. The world is not like it's real life, so border are better. Conquests are similar in the older version, Twisted Time 1. Added Knights of Saint John in the Mediterranean. New world is uncolonized for the most part, Twisted Time 2. More generals from Macedon, US Civil War. Seven Years' War, same as it did the war earlier. 1912, Balkan War with the Ottomans, prepared to be crushed. Very very difficult for the Ottoman, easy for the Balkan League. Chinese Civil War between the Qing and Republic of China. Uh, Qing and China, not really a civil war, more likely to be... Yeah, it can be called as a civil war, but more more like a revolution war, yeah, because it would try to change the, 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 the government. World War I, 1914, accurate borders and army numbers, other countries into the war at certain time. Germany has the edge initially, but it get more difficult later. Yeah, the front line, it's uh, the problem with the trench. 1936, chain back to 1939, rest of the World War II, has accurate nation that joined at a time, more events, many Axis puppets. 1950, including Chinese Civil War, 1956, more existed na Axis nation, my apologies, more Japanese puppet in China. 1980, terrorists split up, 19, sorry, 2020, remove people, so only aliens. By the way, German translation will come later. Uh, modded by uh, Munchstein Bebop and his uh, apprentice, Erwin Rommel. So I will link that all in description. Okay, so let's have a look. New stuff coming in. Unlimited medals, always have that. New general, well, the same thing. Uh, all of these guys been features most of the time from the previous mod. Uh, Herbert, I never heard of this guy. Anyways, I think there's custom generals as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So many custom general, but uh, I think he didn't add me, right? Yeah, he didn't. But it's okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the World War One units in what? What year is it? Okay, so you'll see this is a ninety uh one 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 the year one one one. So you see this is a bigger map this time. You got the Western Roman Empire, you got the Kingdom of France, you got Holy Roman Empire, you got Kingdom of Spain, ooh, that's nice. Kingdom of Portugal, and this one is African tribe, most likely it's an uncolonized. Uh, Mamluks, the Egyptian, you got the Eastern Roman Empire, you got the European Hunic Empire, Kingdom of Poland, uh, Lithuanian Commonwealth, you got Grand Duchy of Moscow, you got Kalmar Union, you got Mongolian Empire, okay. You got Khmer Empire. Finally, somebody did it right. Uh, yeah, he managed to fix that one. Uh, and you can see there are so many textures and map uh, being used and imported from, I think, uh, the European War Six. Yeah, and you got the Qing, you got the Japanese, and you got a tribe here as well. Also the uh, British up here as well. So technically, there's a lot. You can also see the. Knight of St. Jones as well, Empire of Brazil, you got Inca Empire, you got Tukina tribe, you got Guarani people, the Kane gang tribe, gang, <laughs> you got uh, Comanche Indians, you got uh, Cherokee natives, you got Aztec Empire, you got the Iroquois Confederacy, you got the United States of America, should, should have been uh, the 11 states or the uh, yeah, the 11th state. Should, should have been that one. But it's, it's, it's actually okay. Kingdom of Spain, kind of big. You got the Sultanate of Delhi. You got the Timurid Empire. This one is the remnants of the Mongol Empire. You also got the Siberian Tribal Union, which is actually good. Polynesia. You got the Twisted Time one, okay. So this one is Ayutthaya. This one is Tyson Dynasty, Han Dynasty, Asian Hunic Empire. 
you got uh, Oda Clan. So this one we got Togogoba. No, Kamagura Shogunate. Okay. So back in the days, actually, you got the Russian Empire kind of mix, Swedish Empire, Kingdom of Prussia, German Confederations, French Empire, Bourbon Spain, Republic of Carthage. This one's from back in the days. Ottoman Empire, Kingdom of Macedon, Roman Republic, Kingdom of Sicily. You got uh, what? You got Mali Empire. You got uh, what's next? The Confederate State uh, Civil War, United States of America, Mex Mexican Empire. Oh, that's great. Let, let's see the Civil War. I want to see how it goes. Damn, son. Uh, I really miss this uh, this kind of ship. This ship has been around back in the days in the European War for everything was so good. Maybe I will try to play as the Confederate State. Who knows? You never know. But this one is actually good. You got the Persian Empire. You got the Macedon Empire. Damn, son. Ayutthaya, okay, and this one probably uh, Machapahit, am I right? Let's have a look, Machapahit. I'm using this on a new uh, player, so it won't be that easy. Uh, 1756 Global Chaos, the Qing, uh, the Maratha, the Zan Dynasty, the Steppe People, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, the Russian Empire, Swedish Empire, Kingdom of Prussia, so this one is technically, uh, yeah, as far as I remember, something related. This one is, this is, this is before the Civil War, 1756. I think before Napoleon, something like that. 1912, World War One, bigger map. You got the Volga River. Yeah, finally he did that. Yeah, this is the Volga River. It's connected from the, the Caspian Sea to the uh, middle of Russia. And this one is the Black Sea. Uh, Mediterranean, Bay of Biscay, English Channel, the Northern Light, the Baltics, the Atlantic, the Pacific, and many more and so on. And you can see all the terrain forests in Brazil as well. Really nice. 1912. So technically, the Ottoman is going to get screwed in this one. Oh my god. You look at that. Look at that. Sheesh. Over there, man. This is crazy. You can also see the British uh, preparing for the Suez Canal. Everything's going to be OP like... They won't stand a chance, for real though. Uh, 14 is done. You got 1936, World War I, Nazi Germany, Deutsche Reich. And you can see Karl Donitz at the Northern Sea waiting. And you can see, yeah, this is the U boat they were talking about. Jesus Christ. And these guys are neutral and neutral. And you can see the Japanese are already in, and the Chinese are waiting for the fan. And yeah, we are all allies at this point. I mean, for, for, for further event, they, they might change. You never know. Like uh, Later on, they kind of change the event. So that's how it worked. Uh, let's go for show animation. I don't want that. And sorry for not using music to avoid the uh, copyrighted. You now you got the Buffon SS. You got the Tiger 1, DB2, Panzer 4. Sorry, yeah, Panzer 4. You got Panzer 3, Panzer 1. You got the Vibes Storm Panzer Bison. Uh, Panzerwerfer 38, Karl Gerard. There should be a Sturm Tiger. Storm Tiger. That's also what you, you used, uh, was used in the last episode as well. 1941, Clash of the Titans. Soviet Republic, USSR. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so Operation Barbarossa. Uh, you're gonna hold this one. This one looks familiar. Probably a cluster leak or something. And you can see all the terrain has been updated, so it might be not that easy just to cross around or go around the area. But uh, I would play this later because I have uh, the 1945 Conquest as well uh, as Japan. The Conqueror told me to do that. And you got uh, Turning Tie. This one is in. Oh yeah, this one, this this one, uh, 1943, is that right? 1943, so, um, wait a minute, yeah, turning time. So, it's too early for the Germans to Reich Kommissarat of Belgium, Reich Kommissarat of Ausland, Reich Kommissarat of Ukraine, Reich Deutsche Reich, okay, so, oh yeah, I, I, I thought it was uh, the, the new order where technically they won, but not yet won, so the Soviet would just wreck them in havoc again. 1944, the Ragnarok. Similar version, right? Yeah, Ragnarok. 
I don't know how that's work, but might be a German NZ. Let's have a look. Jesus Christ, how many times do I have to click on this one? Oh shit, okay. So let's see, there's unit change. Of course they're gonna change that one. They're not gonna stick with that old tanks. So you got the Panzer IV, Panzer V Panther, Panzer VI Tiger, Pan and King Tiger. That's nice. You got the Gustav Railgun, you got the Webs, Panzer V first today. So they remove the Kalgarat and put the railway in. 1945, Endgame. More like Enzig. So everything here is finished. I mean, if you're gonna go with Enzig again, it's gonna take forever. You're gonna take everything out. You're gonna go all the way back to the start. This is like the double games, you know. The double game from uh, the Germans. And they cannot use the long range except for this one, 82 damage. That's gonna work. Rough on FS, King Kiga, and Gustav Relgan as usual. Uh, not gonna be easy, but all you need to do is just to hold the Soviets. But this is way less spam than uh, Great Pacific War mod. Great Pacific War mod also put a lot of emphasis into making multiple and a lot of units, but at some point, I kind of think that, oh, it kind of spam. It spams more. But we'll see. You got uh, 1950 Broken Curtain. Yeah, Civil War, of course. You got Operation Phoenix. This one is Neo Mongol Empire, People's Republic of China. Yeah, this one not yet done as far as I can Country, uh, Thailand. Yeah. Yeah, African Union, Kingdom of Egypt, Mysterious Forces, Greater States of America. This one probably fascist, but uh, yeah, fascist with the immense technology. Let's try the damage. How does it work? Sheesh, 74. That's pretty shit. <laughs> Trust me, that's pretty shit. I'm sorry. Okay, 1950, sorry, 19, sorry uh, 1956, Darkest Hour, okay, Soviet Socialist, so that's, okay, that's, that's, yeah, this one is probably the new order, but uh, the Soviet still exists, the Yugoslavia still exists, Siberian Empire, okay, Grof Reich, French State, Reich Commissar Grot, Britain, Okay, here's how it works. As far as I remember, I play in Hoi 4. Uh, the New Order, uh, Hitler's dead, and then they're gonna find the culprit who killed Hitler. He was poisoned by the SS, and then the SS broke into a new state, and then the uh, Wehrmacht, they broke into a new state, formed by Erich von Manstein, and then you get the government formed by Heinz Guderian uh, with uh, Hermann Göring. So it's gonna be a three-way civil war. It's gonna be really... Eh, disgusting, trust me. And you got 2020. No people at all. Okay. So this mod is actually good. I will give this an 8 out of 10. Not the fact that I know them, but the fact that they put effort, emphasis, and the quality, the texture, the event. Even though I haven't yet checked it out, but I know they're going to do it great. Since they are working a lot with one another, this one's going to be perfect. So 8 out of 10 for the World Conquer 4, the front line expanded. This one is a newer version. Check it out, link will be in the description. For those who want to download, link will be there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updated video. And also subscribe to the modder Urban Rommel and also Manstein Bitbob as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.